Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 17th through the 23rd of September, 2023. Hope you guys are well. I want to take a second to remind everyone that these are general readings. It may not resonate with every Gemini out there, so just take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. You can also check your other signs and placements. See if those readings resonate better. Bear in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop in a general reading. It's not that unusual. As always, Gemini, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that is simply not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Gemini? Gemini. All right, Gemini, you are starting with the lovers. You have the tower. And the Six of Cups in the reverse. So, Gemini, you may have a big choice in love here. I do feel like you are very, very drawn towards somebody. But in order to move in this direction, you know that this is going to cause a huge upset. And it could cause a huge upset in a current connection. Because I do see you letting go of something or someone from the past. So... I do feel like you have a choice here, and I do feel like you know that this is going to kind of upset everything. So let's see who is in your energy. All right, so the person in your energy has judgment in reverse, the chariot. The Ace of Wands, and along with that, this Strength card. Okay, so the person in your energy, I do feel like um, this person may be fearful of, of making a bad judgment call here. I do feel like there's something between the two of you. This person thought it was over, it was done with, it was never going to be, you know, revisited. But there's forward movement that I'm seeing here. Um, you could be dealing with a cancer sign. Um, I'm also seeing Leo. But I do feel that this person is moving in your direction. Now, they, this could be somebody that moved away or um, things ended and they thought that this was never going to be a chance between the two of you again. And now they're returning back to the area. For some of you, this is person is physically returning back and it's really going to cause a big change in your life. It's going to upset the apple cart, as it were. Um, I do see that this person, um, if they're not moving back towards you physically, they're moving back towards you emotionally. Um, this person is very passionate towards you. I do feel like there's a very seductive nature here with this person. They have very strong feelings towards you, and I do feel that they... Um, <laughs> They have strong physical feelings towards you as well. So they're moving in, moving towards you very quickly. Um, there will be some form of a warning. I do see some sort, you're getting some sort of a warning that this person is headed in your direction as well. Um, probably through verbal. Let's see the energy between the two of you. All right, we have the Fool in Reverse and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, this person, they see you as their, their wish granted. They definitely know what it is that they want. I think you're a little afraid of this situation. Like, there's a fear here. You, you're fearing at taking a risk with this person. But they know what they want. They definitely know what they want. I do feel that they felt like this was never going to be a, a connection that would be revisited. And I feel like you might be fearing this new beginning. Five of Swords. Seven of Wands reversed. And the Moon in reverse. Okay, so what's affecting this connection? There could be some conflict that's occurred between the two of you. If not, there's conflict um, internally. I do feel like you are having a realization about this person. 
if you guys, um, all three of these cards were in the, what was it? I think the Cancer bonus reading. So if you guys are involved with a Cancer sign, you definitely want to check that reading. I'll try to attach it at the end. But yeah, this person, I feel like this person's had a realization. Now there is a lot of, and that realization has to do with you. There's a lot of um, conflict in this person as well, though. They, You both may feel that you've been spiritually guided towards each other in some manner. Yeah, and you know what? I'm seeing Cancer sign. So there, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Um, this person, I do feel like... I do feel like either they're having a realization or you're having a realization about them. Uh, Seven of Wands in the reverse tells me that if there has been any arguing and fighting between the two of you, and for some of you it looks like there has been, you want to put that to rest. You don't want to fight with this person. You want to move forward. You're, you're done with the fighting. You feel that this is your person. This is the person you want to be with. Um, hmm. And they're, they're, it's causing a tower, or maybe they want to be with you. Maybe that's it. One of you does. I feel like you're having some sort of a realization. You know that this is going to cause um, a big upset in your life, though. You're aware of it. All right, so at the, in the outcome, you have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of problems associated with this, but I still feel like even though there's a lot of problems, part of the problem, this person feels, Gemini, that things have been moving very, very slowly, and that's a problem for them. They want this new beginning. They feel strongly about you. They're moving in your direction. Um, strong cancer sign here. I'm seeing a lot of cancer energy. Um you, on the other hand, I feel like you have a lot going on in your life right now. You may be releasing somebody else from your past, or it could be this person that's been released. But there is a huge, huge decision you have in love. The answer is going to be revealed to you as well, but it's going to shake up your entire world. Now, at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands. So, there's success that's underlying all of this. And I have to tell you that that card also showed up in that reading as well as the Ten of Wands. So, in different positions. So, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? The Death card. That showed up in that reading as well. In the reverse. And we have the Five of Cups reversed. Yeah, so I feel like there's somebody here that you feel that there's unfinished business with. You've tried to let go to end things and just found yourself un unable to do so. I am seeing that you spent quite some time looking at the past, trying to figure things out. And now your focus is turning towards love. Your focus, you're coming out of a funk, perhaps, and your focus is turning towards love. There's a lot of fear that's here, though, as far as taking this, this uh, leap of faith with this person. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups reversed and the King of Swords reversed. All right, so you don't want anything that's dishonest. So if you feel that this person is being dishonest, you, you don't want to deal with that. You're also... You're also not wanting this tower moment. You're avoiding, you're trying to avoid this tower moment, but you're doing it possibly in a dishonest way or in a low vibratory manner. Um, if you're being dishonest with this person, that that's coming out. Whatever it is that you may be dishonest or you're hiding is going to come out. And I know you don't want it to. Um, and you you're afraid of this bringing in a tower moment. It's going to happen. There is going to be a tower moment. Even if it's small and private for you, I see to a tower moment happening. There's something here that is going to shake up your world. <laughs> All right, we have the hangman reversed 
and the Ace of Wands. So you're you're mirroring each other. You may be realizing that this person actually wants this new beginning with you. There's definitely a lot of fiery physical energy here. I do feel like um, I do feel like you you may have tried to release this person. Some of you are releasing someone else, but I do feel like this has taken a long time. You're now looking at things differently with this person as well as if you're having to release another situation. But you, there's a de strong sexual desire that's here. And you know it. You know it. All right, so why is judgment in reverse? Let's look at their energy. All right, we have the star card. And we have the two of cups. So they're definitely focused on you. They felt like things were over between the two of you, though. This person, um, they were giving up on this connection. They may reach out to you. I do see that they actually really do love you, though. Um, we have the sign of Aquarius here. They thought that this was over and done, but you are definitely the person they wish to be with. Why is the chariot here? All right, we have the Four of Cups. We have the Six of Swords reversed. This person may have appeared to be ignoring you um, as if they didn't care. And I do feel that this person tried to move away from this connection as well. They, they um, have found themselves una unable to do that. I do feel like they have been feeling stuck for a long time. You have as well. You both have been looking back into the past. This person is still kind of looking at the past quite a bit, um, but they don't want a missed opportunity here. So I do feel that they are definitely moving in your direction. Let's look at the bottom energy. Six of coins reverse, justice in reverse, and the queen of pentacles. You could be dealing with a... Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you don't have to be. Libra is here as well, or another Gemini for that matter. Um, yeah, this person strongly wants a new beginning with you, but there's a sense here that they're in a, they're finding their strength in self-care, Gemini. They're taking care of themselves. They could be a mother. If so, they're very focused on their children and the home they're focused on a lot of self-care. And this is a result of them feeling as if they have been treated unjustly. Um, I do feel that for some of you, this person, um, this could have been a, a situation where there was someone else involved. And that would have been either they were the third party or you had a um, third party and this person was your, you were in a relationship with them. It could have gone either way. I can tell you this, they don't want any third party energy. And even if there was no third party energy, I am seeing this person felt as if they had been breadcrumbed. Like you had not given as much to the relationship as they did. And I do feel that they feel wronged here. It doesn't stop them from feeling a, a strong attraction towards you. It doesn't stop them from wanting to be with you, but it it does cause them to pull back and to put that love and that attention into themselves. Um, I do feel like this is somebody who is very focused on their money, making their money right now, or their home and children. This connection was imbalanced, and I do feel that they don't want to move back into something that is imbalanced here. All right, so let's see the energy between the two of you. The High Priestess reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. Five of swords, and the hermit in reverse. Okay. So, I do feel that the, that both of you are going to, there's going to be like some information revealed between the two of you. 
there's something here about um, <laughs> secrets coming out. And that secret has to do with the fact that you both tried to walk away from this connection and you can't. So that's what's coming out. It's not secrets as in who did what to who. It's about, I tried to walk away. I couldn't do it. I feel like you're going to be communicating that with this person. You've been doing a lot of soul searching here, Gemini. And you do feel that you want a new beginning with this person, but there's a fear that you have here as well. You may be afraid that this person's going to walk away. Um, neither of you are really trusting your intuition here. I can see that. And on the on their side, there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of conflict because they thought that things were over. They thought this was a done deal. And now here it is resurfacing. So they're in a lot of conflict. Now this conflict is what is affecting this connection. You have conflict as well. Yours is manifesting more so as fear. And they might be coming across as being um, either in their ego or being com com confrontational. They could be very confrontational. But it's because this is kind of turning both of your worlds upside down a little bit. All right. We have the eight of coins. We have the page of wands. And wait. And the page of cups. Yeah, there's going to be... There's going to be like an exchange. I feel like this person is going to reach out to you possibly. Um, this could be somebody that you have worked with or you work with now or you've met them through some form of work. I do feel like both of you are really looking at the details because you're both feeling very conflicted about, you know, the idea of bringing this back together. Um, I do feel that you feel that this is good news because this person is going to extend an olive branch towards you. They don't want to fight anymore. They, they are just unable to move away from your energy. So they're headed back in your direction. And I do feel like you will hear from them. You're going to find that to be good news. I do see you responding back to that. Um, I feel like it's, you're going to realize that this person does kind of want to work things out with you. I do see it being very small, but it's, it's a beginning. It's a beginning of working on this. And I do think that both of you are going to be looking at all the details here. So let's look at your outcome. More cancer energy just came out. A lot of cancer energy here. All right, we have the Ace of Cups reversed. We have the Moon. And we have Judgment in Reverse. Now, remember, Judgment in Reverse was one of their first cards out. Um, don't we have the Moon here somewhere as well? But it's in the Reverse. Um, so, there's a lot of problems here. And by the end of the week, I see you both acknowledging, hey, there's there's a lot of problems here. Um, and it's what's getting in the way of this new beginning in love. Now, those problems, it doesn't mean it's not coming. Because remember, underlying all of this is success. So it just means that there's problems that have to be resolved before this new beginning in love can happen. Now, for you, there could be secrets here. Um and you are having to rethink some of this. There could be somebody in your past that you need to release. There could be um, something to do with one night stands or sexual um, liaisons, or you could have tried to make this person a secret. So there's something to do with secrets. These are the problems that you have to resolve. I do feel like you really wanna be with this person. You're realizing they wanna be with you. Um, so you need to work on whatever that is. And on their side, this person 
they are really holding on to what has occurred. They feel really wronged by the past. They've become very independent and they have been pouring that love into themselves. So that doesn't stop them from wanting to be with you. And like I said, there is a strong, strong, strong physical bond here. Um, there's just a definite attraction. But what's getting in their way, the problems that they need to resolve in order for this renewal and love is that they, they feel that there's an unequal give and take here and there's a sense of perhaps I'm making a bad judgment call by moving back into any kind of a connection with this person. So that's something that they have to resolve. They have to decide about. It's not hopeless and there is love that is here but, you know, there's, you have to stop keeping secrets or having secretive energy and they have, they've got to work on whether or not they want to be in this connection. So, bottom of the deck is the chariot. More, um, more cancer energy. So, guys, I don't know if you Geminis are involved with a cancer. We do have other signs here. There's Libra. Scorpio's here, um, there's Aquarius, um, another Gemini, perhaps. Um, yeah, that looks like the dominant ones that jump out at me. But don't get too hung up on the signs, although I will say Cancer energy is very, very strong. Underlying energy here is the chariot, which tells me that this person is moving in your direction. And this this relationship seems to be moving forward and moving forward successfully at that. So it looks like you thought it was over and done, or at least they did, but it's not. Let's see what kind of an Oracle card. Ooh, number 19. Now 19 condenses to a 10 and 10s are about the end of a cycle. So you also have a 10 in your outcome. So you've got a cycle that's wrapping up here, Gemini. Um, it's called Dragon's Lair. Let's see what the book says about that. Interesting. You are always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You're about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. Ooh. So I guess you guys need to move forward and, you know, know that you're protected. There is success that is on this. Um, you've got new stuff coming up, new new love here, or this is with a, a, a past person. But I do feel that you're moving into new territory with this person. So take heart, know you're protected. And if you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, I do um, hope you will do so. And until I see you in your next weekly reading, namaste.